all the time. You've heard climate change, you've heard population growth, you've heard uh, industrial cycles, uh, waste, uh, resource scarcity, uh, rare earths, and so on. And we see that already in three of those boundaries, we are way, way beyond the safe operating space. Protected. So we said, oh, we'll save the rainforest, yeah, but once you find oil in the ground, it's very, very tough. We, see, we know from China, food security is a national security issue. For the big drought in 2010, compromise of wheat production in China became a matter of national security for the Chinese premiership. And essentially, we are seeing a repositioning of the issue of land uh, into, into potentially a new geopolitical uh, space. Uh, yes, climate change is a threat to international security. We have some evidence and we need science to be very present in policy making and industrial risk uh, management. What they're saying is climate change will be one of the big drivers of wars in the next this century but it won't be a threat in itself. It would amplify all the other threats. Uh, my name is Alejandro Litovsky. I am the founder of the Earth Security Initiative. Uh, and this is an initiative that is uh, portraying an environmental agenda of ecological limits from a perspective of security. I'm always amazed how intellectual, and how sophisticated, how interested these discussions are. I don't think that, personally, the, the urgency is going to be driven by governments. They don't act in urgent ways. That they make the feel that exists in the world is going to be exacerbated or amplified. So if you can make this more relevant direct to the voters, I think that's a prerequisite also then to change the global law. And what we developed in the course of, of this workshop was two things we focused on. Um, communicating to the to policy, political decision makers and po uh, communicating to the general public. Both plays a role. The second uh, aspect was, uh, was um, much more focused on influencing how financial markets work. Uh, and this is where we think the Earth Security Initiative can have a very big impact by improving uh, the way investors uh, risk managers within companies and politicians understand what is at stake from losing ecological uh, assets and ecological services. I think one of the important outcomes was uh, using the same acronym of the Earth Security Initiative was a byproduct of this uh, project could be the Earth Security Index. So this idea of uh, creating uh, an index whereby you could write companies and countries uh, in how well they contribute and abide by a set of parameters. Green power is uh, heavily subsidized. Yeah, because I, can, I can behave really, really badly, but I can have a superior product, I can have superior margin, and as an investor that's all I care about. That cannot mean anymore that you can have a super margin by doing uh, uh, things that are, that are bad. The most interesting bit uh, is that people are just completely fired up to keep working together uh, and they believe that the um, earth security concept and idea can change the way we think about the earth agenda and this message from this workshop here is that we have to combine our strengths among ourselves we have to use all the networks of young leaders worldwide to convince the public convince also the governments and the politicians to do the steps which are necessary and that's a very hard way to go.